Well, after defeating the host nation, England, in a bruising semi-final encounter, the Australian Diamonds will go for gold tonight with the hope of going one better than their 2018 silver medal. But to do that, they will have to overcome the in-form, history-making Jamaican Sunshine Girls. You see, the Jamaicans have never won gold or silver, but with world-class bookends and a newfound discipline, they are ready to create history. Welcome to the NEC Arena as Australia and Jamaica compete for gold. There was no issue Jamaica getting over New Zealand by the 16 goals, and here's that particular lineup. No changes from this lineup that took to the court in the semi final. It's Fowler with Beckford, Williams out at wing attack, Dixon Rochester in the middle. And then the defensive trio that has become synonymous with winning plenty of ball back. Ward, Wilson and Shamira Sterling against New Zealand. Amazing. Here we go. Here are the Diamonds, the starting seven. And again, no changes from the team that beat England in the semi. It's Bowetta and Ward. Lizzie Watson, the captain, will team up again with her Melbourne Vixens teammate, Kate Maloney. Ash Brazel was in exceptional form, lifted another level in the semi against England. So here comes your umpires for tonight. Gareth Fowler and Angela Armstrong Lush. And what a crowd that has entered the NEC arena. Up against Jamaica, world number four, the Diamond Silver in 2018. Can they go one better tonight? Look Jamaica. at that. Well, the scary thing for Australia is they're all cheering for Jamaica at this point. It's the Aussie Diamonds that knocked England out of the hunt. They won't forget that. It was just 24 hours ago. Holding my breath here for a massive one. Although this crowd has been amazing. They love their netball. I think they'll just all be super happy to be here to witness this gold medal game. So Courtney Bruce comes out. Starting position goalkeeper for her tonight. Goal defence, Joanna Weston. And Jo Weston, she was terrific in the semi-final. We'll need to shut down Shanice Beckford from Jamaica this evening. Kira Austin, so the Australian Kate Diamonds Bradley, out onto Sarah the court. Lau Jamaica await Bradley. them. Gold medal time here at the NEC Arena in Birmingham. The final moment for netball at the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. The same starting seven for both sides. And it was the Diamonds that went down to Jamaica in the Pool A game by two in the semi-finals. Both victories, Australia by nine against England. Jamaica by 16 against New Zealand. Kelly Ryan, the CEO of Nepal Australia, is patriotic, as you would expect in the crowd. Well, she was the only one cheering, well, wasn't she? <laughs> She's got to be. So a proud history for the Australian Diamonds here at the Commonwealth Games. Three gold and three silver. They want that to go to four for gold. We are underway, the whistle blows, and the Australian Diamonds get us moving to the left of screen. First centre pass, Beckford down for Jamaica. The captain, Lizzie Watson, in at wing attack. Maloney. Keep an eye on the battle. Goal shooter and goalkeeper, Gretel Bowetta, up against Shamira Sterling. That'll be one of the best. That's an early tip, and it comes from Wilson. Well, this defence end for Jamaica, world class. The goalkeeper, Shamira Sterling. Goal defence, Latanya Wilson, both by their trade out here in Australia. Suncorp Super Nepal, Adelaide Thunderbirds. Their team, and Steph Wood, the vice captain. Ash Brazel, I felt like was a little bit of their weak link against Jamaica in that round loss. Not enough defensive pressure from her and already. She's changing the story. Great drive to the top of the circle by Maloney. Quick hands with Wood in the offload. That's a better ball with height over the okay. top of Wilson. Well, fair enough. Can't be throwing those in. Got to pay some respect here to the athleticism of this Jamaican defence line. Jamaica, the disciplined approach. It's got them here to a gold medal game. Patience with the ball. Beckford. Williams free and then a quick release into Fowler. Where the goal shooter is. Well, we saw Joe Weston on the ground a few times in the last meeting against Jamaica. It is impossible to move Janiel Fowler. There's the work from Wilson. Steph Wood, a bit of space into the range for her. The rock back. 
in wood fashion and the deflection from Sterling. Jamaica! That's going to pull the defence apart, give them something to think about. I think also give credit to Watson Find and Maloney, who are more than capable of controlling center. outside the circle. Definitely. Corey Bruce, massive. Needs the backup from a teammate, and it'll go into the hands of Watson a contact. So, four and a half minutes to unfold in the opening quarter. Oh, Lizzie Watson. Well, it was a drop ball coming from Jodie Ann Ward. So, a win here, and certainly if they can convert it, it's going to put some pressure on Jamaica That's early. Right, Particularly if they can go two in a row, Kath, off their centre pass. Maloney under contact, pressure. The the top. They look to have settled now, the Diamonds. Here's Digital the ball side. straight through the hands of Jodie Ann Ward. Lizzie Watson, I'll have that. Thanks very much. Australia. Don't you need to look, though? Well, she's got to look behind her. That's where Steph Wood's coming from when she starts it. So it's a difficult position. But she should know that she's the anchor. She should really that's, stay that's and right. let, yeah, yeah, let exactly. Wood do the movement. So that's Jamaica nerves. here, yeah, this is pressure. Who gets it? Australia again. So Jamaica having never played in a gold medal game, showing some real nerves early here. The Diamonds, however, they're showing class. Oh, oh. Gretel Buetta, well, I was gonna say, one of the best takes we've seen Oh. Still not prepared to shoot it up, though. I'd like to see her take that one. Steph Wood gets the job, though. Should be confident here. Australia! On the whistle, you're Big out of names. Play. Important goal for Jamaica, and it's off the hand of Beck, but it's her first for the game. Huge. So 36 seconds here. If Jamaica can be clean and reasonably quick, they'll get a chance at a centre pass and a score as well. Fowler. Scoreline back to three. Jamaica centre pass. 20 seconds to score. Contact C to Australia. Seat We're running out of time here. Need to get a move on Jamaica. 10 seconds. Williams, the high ball. Fowler, plenty of time to do this. Steadies. Well, after being out in front by six goals. Jamaica have fought back to be now within two. And the crowd are loving every second of this. So we go into the first break of this game. Gold medal territory it is in Australia. Holding on here by two, 14 to 12. It was the last quarter, wasn't it, Kath? A 17-9 return from Jamaica. So we'll have to wait and see where we are come three-quarter time. Second quarter underway, and the Diamonds holding on here by two early, but Jamaica's defence is in everything. Jamira Sterling, another deflection. Anything that goes up high, her hand's amongst it. Contact, goal shooter. Contact, wing attack. There it is. Was caught in no man's land, really. Shamira Sterling had to attack the pass, and didn't she what? Fowler goes back to the line to reset the play and attack here. Beckford, a quick look at... Fowler didn't like it, though. Instruction centre outside. Oh, Williams, well taken on the stretch from Dixon Rochester. And how smart was the ball down court too? Went via the floorboards. Strikes your hands before. This is the difficulty one back, tech. for yes. the Australian defence then. They were two on one on Fowler. Australia. They leave Beckford for a second. In fairness, Bruce did hedge out. But then quickly retreated. How long do you stay on that front goal but attack option versus worrying about Fowler? It's a task. It's tough at the top, suit. I reckon get out of the pockets, probably safer. So absolutely crucial for the Diamonds to score off this. Contact centre. The drive from Maloney. Oh, that's a better passage. The side here now, one step up and line with me. Back. Yes. Australia. Obstruction, weak defence. Jamaica. Only 
is Watson. He's just scored 23 all. Bad construction wing defence. Nothing ball side. Kara Conan having to go all the way back to the transverse line. Now it opens oh, up. Oh, great stuff. Well, the Jamaican defence have got something really different to Jamaica. think about now, Kath, haven't they? Kara Conan. Very too. fresh. That's what I like about this for Australia. Both Clough and Conan Australia. haven't seen a lot of court time over the last two days. Conan just holding. Well, she was holting for the backspace and Duetta went forward. Well, that's what she reads so well, Kara Conan. Jamaica. Watches the defence, adjusts to which way they're Mate, going and opens up. Shooter. Looks easy. It is not. Having a look at Fowler. Look at the change in thinking, isn't it? Instruction goalkeeper, Australia. You know that Jamaica will get most of them, but it's going to give Clow a red-hot look. Well, they're going to have to start to force some longer ones. The mix-up. This is what I was talking Jamaica. about, the beauty of this mobile tools. Kara Conan out of the circle. Gretel Bouetta in. You lose nothing. 60 seconds to unfold here. Fowler out from home. So closed down again by the Australian defence. A little tip from Brazzle. And then Beckford. Oh, quick offload to Fowler. Instruction keeper beside. Goalkeeper stand beside you in front. Set. Janelle Fowler at 96% accuracy. Just the one miss. Australia. That's her 24th. So Australia with a chance to go one up, maybe hold on to that lead into the halftime break. Conan through the middle, lovely swing to Maloney and goes again, Kara Conan. She loving has made it. all the difference, hasn't she, with that movement? Jamaica. Jamaican defence line has gone quiet. They can't have a fly at anything here because it's been kept low and sharp. The high ball, Fowler, that's what they're capable of doing and doing quickly, Jamaica. Well, what a way to go into halftime on a gold medal game, and that is all tied up at 29 apiece. Jamaica win that quarter by two after the Diamonds led by two at the quarter time break. Gold medal match, 29-29. Recap here, it was Australia by two at quarter time, 14 to 12, and then a 17-15 quarter owned by the Jamaicans to tie things up. So we head into the third quarter, and in sport where there are four, we often call this the championship quarter. Setting up the final one, you'd like to go in with your nose in front. Gretel Bouetta has had the ball in her hands Contact three in times inside, inside the circle. Outside. Hasn't looked at the post. Make that now four. That was a penalty, though. Couldn't shoot Guns it. Some Contact fancy Peter. work out the front. That's where she likes it. And two of the best mid-quarters in the game. It is the Vixens' grand final attack line. Spending oh. off side, more time Peter. in the circle. I really like it. Well, yeah, Kara Conan screaming for it on a couple of occasions. She's been right there under the post. It took them a long time to find her. Nonetheless, they do. Well, and the thing is, Kath, as we know, both Conan and Buetta not not overly comfortable with the long shot. Buetta's capable, not necessarily Conan, so they have to find the road to close oh. under the post. And Clough again. Well, you generally don't see those sort of wins till the last quarter. She's picked up three Bad in front. Center. Intercepts Bad since she's entered center. the court. Keep her holding. Jodie Ann Ward has been very quiet. Lizzie Watson, the better of her tonight, to date. Every single ball, though, this is where the ball's been turned over, is challenged, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. Courtney Bruce now has come up with a couple. Hold time. Seems like that's an intentional contact. It's a caution. Next time, it will be a warning. Santa, wait for my whistle. Play on. Well, I don't know that it deserves a boot. Do you? Like, 
Yes, it's a warning, but I don't know that you'd boo the umpire for that, do you? No, well, they're just trying to keep control of the game, and that's their job, isn't it? Well, forced into it, there was nowhere else to go for Kate Maloney. Jamaica need to score here, though. We saw them get so much ball back against the Diamonds in the pool game. It was the transition to goal that really let them down. Look at the two on Fowler now, and then the quick switch from Bruce. Okay, goalkeeper. We're the goal shooters. Footwork again, looking very good from Clow. So, Jamaica here, the gains 8-7. It was all that Australia were capable of getting in a full 60 minutes. Oh, it's hard work for them, though, in attack, isn't it? Australia just on everything. Now it opens up and smarter work reading what Clow's doing, keeper. putting the ball appropriately to Fowler. That wasn't over the top. It wasn't forced. It was forced just in front. Oh, this is the real danger oh, area indeed. for Jamaica. Well, Bruce has taken one Step in the stomach, but that was her own fault, to be blatantly honest with you. With she ran. Back, back, wait to fetch. She ran into the yes. back here of... It was Dixon Rochester. Contact goal defence. One step Courtney up Bruce with the will goal not shooter. let that slow her down at this point. There is a gold medal right. on the line. Well, she was part of the silver medal in 2018, and she remembers it ever so well, the obstruction Contact. that allowed the penalty shot Back after there, the, there. the siren. Oh, Brazzle! Well, it comes flying through the cross and Listen to the crowd. They don't like it. And it's against teammate from the Collingwood Magpies in Jodie Ann Ward. And there's the Magpies coach, Nicole Richardson. Oh, there's no club colours here. It's patriotism at its best. Well, Ash Brazel had to have a crack, though, didn't she? Seconds on the clock and Jamaica desperate to score. Probably just the timing. Listen to what? the crowd. Extraordinary footage that is, Kat, to see that. Four or five different angles. Beside the goal shooter. So it'll be a penalty. Beside the goal shooter. After the siren for Fowler. And she will be able to step Contact. in around Bruce. Both players. Contact on the ball. Well, you'd give anything a go, wouldn't you, though? So a goal on the siren for Jamaica, but it was all about the Diamonds in that quarter. A 16-10 return for them. And they set up this final quarter perfectly. They'll go in leading by six. 45 to 39. Well, the last five, 15 minutes, should I say, before we crown our gold medalists here at Birmingham 2022. And it's the Diamonds that have led amicably, haven't they, from the start. A terrific third quarter performance, setting up a six-goal lead. And this is what Jamaica needs to do early, Kath. Just remind us when they met last, what happened in oh, front position yes. there's the hand from sterling well he called it and that's what she's capable of jamaica have got to pounce on those scraps though well ended up in almost the same position griddle Bawetta, a lot of work to jamaica. get there against england last night so it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds but this is also where jamaica started to let it rip okay, and that's what i mean by let it rip Finding that ball into Fowler. Right Potentially a fifth, five. Fifth, yeah. fifth, possibly a fifth this year. <laughs> oh, gee, what a take. Under the body the was Latanya Wilson. It'll be wetter. Hasn't missed a goal, and I don't want to put the commentator's Jamaica. curse on her, but she's 32 from 32. Oh, look at the takes, too. This is almost a carbon copy of the pressure that started to mount on the Diamonds and they didn't respond well that in that pool game. Inter. Lovely double play to the post. Contact rest. Between Dixon Rochester the and Beckford. Oh dear, well, they tighten the score here, Jamaica. Back to five. It's been some time and it is also their centre pass. So we could be at four goals, Kat. Oh, we will be at four goals. Fowler. And that's the confidence that started to happen in the fourth quarter the other night as well. I don't want to give the ball at all this midcourt. Look at them. Oh, gee. 
Got to shoot them. Got to shoot them. They do not look confident, Australia. Well, they are working extremely hard. Oh, and it dear. should have been shot. Those moments you don't take for granted. Oh, Courtney Bruce. Bruce! Oh, surely she had that. Well, Jamaica, in a blink, have brought this scoreline back to three. Oh, the crowd. Are they going to be the difference? Contact goalkeeper. No, goal tech. Here you are. Goalkeeper, step up with her. Cloud to stand out and play clear directions from the umpire. Play on. Set the penalty. The side keeps on getting stuck in You feeling comfortable, Cap? <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me because I've just gone mute for a little while? Yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm feeling better now after that win back from Australia. And they look to have sorted the timing issue down this end in attack. I feel like they've weathered the storm. Liz Watson, to me, at times, just chewing in her hands to let that ball go. Australia. And it's the pressure of the contest, isn't it? Getting in that first ball contest from Bruce and placing Beckford under pressure. And then look at the work Courtney Bruce does in attack. Obstruction, goal attack. Th this move defensively, we said how good Plough had been out the front. Bruce has been as good in goal defence. Brazzle's been terrific on the wing. I'm not calling this early. Contact, I'm just keeper. highlighting an individual side, brilliance. Jamaica. Both players. So three minutes to play. Jamaica need to score quickly and then get into some of their best defensive effort ever. They have won the hearts of everybody. But they've met a very sturdy Australian Diamonds who have learned from defeat just three nights ago against the same side. And the tears start to well in the eyes of the Australians. They know they've Wait got this one, Cat Fox. What a moment to see the bench. And it is quite often the bench that Time has that realisation first. The players on the court, too involved in the process at the moment. No goal. They're still screaming. They still Center want the defence. There's no way Jamaica get All through time. here. So Australia and fans throughout the country can enjoy this last minute. Structure goal shooter. Oh, that great take from Wilson. Contact and moving off. 38 to play. Bruce takes a look Contact at it. The Jamaicans keep going to the end, but it is all about the Australian Diamonds. They've had three gold previously and three Contact silver, and they will add another gold Hold to time. that tally. Gold defense contact. Quick looking the at the Jamaican no, no, no. bench, and they look disappointed, but they shouldn't be. Haven't done Find any better than a bronze line. in previous campaigns. They will take the silver. 20 seconds to play out here at the NEC okay. Arena to wrap up netball at Birmingham 2022. The Australian Diamonds have been impressive. And they'll count down the last seven seconds here. Buetta's been superb. It's all about the Diamonds as oh they take the 1,000th gold medal for Australia at the Games. It is gold for the Diamonds. Gold, gold, gold. The Diamonds triumph over Jamaica. An extraordinary moment for netball for the Australian Diamonds and coach Stacey Marinkovic. Well, Paige Hadley, she can barely run, but she's out there hopping on one leg, wants to be a part of it. Gretel Bewetta, what a superstar has been all tournament. Well, eight debutants for the Australian Diamonds at this game and they will step in and grab a gold medal. Congratulations to the Australian Diamonds. They had to play their best game on the day that mattered most, didn't they, Kath? They did and it had to be some great coaching as well. Stacey Marenkovic made all the right moves at all the right times. Well, and got Australia across the line. It's been four years for 
the likes of Courtney Bruce to have to be reminded of the pain of 2018. She can put that to bed now as Australia take gold here. The final result, 55 to 51, the four goal victory to the Australian Diamonds and their fourth gold medal at a Commonwealth Games. Commonwealth Games champions. I can Australia. feel the tears coming. What a moment for these athletes. Steve Hawkins, one of the physios for the Diamonds in the crowd. So the 25th captain of Australia, Liz Watson. Captain Liz Watson. Receives a gold, previously a silver Sunday in 2018. Ariang. And what about Sunday Ariang, the first African-born player Kira to represent Austin. the Diamonds. Austin returns from an ACL injury to take gold. Brazil. And Ash Brazel desperately wanted to do this in front of her family, her wife, Brooke, and two children. Bruce, the history is now gold. What a season, what a season. Incredible weather. The injured Paige Hadley would have been formidable as a teammate from the sidelines. And an extraordinary performance from Sarah Clow, wasn't it? Turned the game for Australia. Look at the smiles on the faces of the teammates as they watch each other get the medal. That's what this is really all about, isn't it? They've been so supportive of their sisters right throughout. Joe Weston also returning from 2018 alongside Vice Captain Steph Wood. So for four of these Aussie Diamonds, a silver turns to gold. Australia. It really is an inspiration and look at the smiles on the faces.